Hi, I'm Leon Poindexter, and we're here working on the beaver. Uh, at this point, we're putting copper on the vessel, and uh, we're fastening it with these uh, bronze ring nails. We've got about 22,000 of these nails uh, to put in here. And as you lay out the copper, this is not something that just follows right along the water line. It's not something that goes straight along the water line. Uh, there is a line, a definite line, it's called the gore line, and which would be this line of copper here. And this is the line that as we first start to lay the copper on the boat, this is basically a straight line which bends around the boat. So it is actually a straight line, but it appears as a big sweep. And that way the edges of the copper are going to line up. They're all going to be square as they go on the vessel. Uh, so we start in the middle and we measure up to the water line and we first put our plates on about midships and we start working our way down and out. Each of these plates is a sheet of copper and what John has here is he's brought down some, some blank sheets from, uh, from up above there and this is a pattern and this is the same pattern that we had before uh, that we got from the Bath Maritime Museum from an actual punching machine. Uh, one thing we're finding out, we're going through quite a few drill bits. Uh, we've probably gone through about 20, 25 drill bits already. That's why John's using this uh, lubrication. Okay, as we take each sheet of copper, we've uh, pre-drilled the holes for where the nails go. And uh, then as we put it on the boat, uh, we have to lay it out so the lines of copper uh, follow uh, the sweeps of the uh, sides of the vessel. And uh, John right here is going to bend this piece so that it fits along what they call the garboard seam. And the garboard is where the hull meets the keel. And there has to be a sharp angle there. This is acting as a brake. A brake is uh, a device used to, uh, to bend metal. And John is forming this along a, just a piece of, uh, of oak here. Now it's important to do a nice clean job on this whole thing even though once the boat goes in the water only the fish are going to see it because uh, as you lay this copper out it needs to uh, be flat, it needs to not be dented because every time you dent it it thins the sheet out and uh, we need to make sure this copper is going to last for a long time. At this point we have over probably over a hundred sheets. Uh, it takes about 400 sheets per ship and uh, we're part of the way through it now. Now John's just sliding that up underneath the other copper there and uh, as I said before everything needs to be clean, it needs to be uh, a nice fit. We're nailing each piece in with bronze ring nails and as you can see we got a nice clean fit there and John will put a few nails in the center just to hold it in place and then as we start nailing it we'll work from the center out so that the, uh, the plate doesn't get any wrinkles on it. These uh, bronze ring nails are what we're using to hold the uh, copper on. Uh, when they first started to use the uh, copper on the vessels they fastened it with iron nails and back then they didn't know anything about electrolysis and so the copper would fall off after a while. But when they found out that bronze would work well with the copper, uh, from then on it was always bronze ring nails.